This is uh, the 20th year of the uh, system and uh, earlier there has been uh, recognition given to the different uh, system uh, directors and uh, other uh, officials and um, actually even if I was not a system uh, official I actually served for nine months as OIC of the Philippine Science High School uh, system so uh, in fact I remember very well that it was in the SMC campus in Dabao where I introduced my successor and it was Dr. Pilma Browner. I think uh, I really have to devote this uh, short message of mine to uh, really honor uh, the past uh, officials and of course the present officials but more particularly uh, those uh, directors who were the founding directors of the respective uh, campuses. It is not easy to be the founding director of a campus. I have seen that, and while I cannot memorize, or I have not memorized all the founding uh, directors, I, uh, I know that they are all here. But uh, really, I uh, saw uh, the sacrifices that have been uh, uh, made by our campus director, whether they are the founding directors or not. Uh, Eh, siguro kayo yung maka, mas nakakaalam at saka yung mga alumni natin dito kung gano'ng kahirap magturo sa mga sobrang marurunong na bata, no? At saka sa sobrang marurunong na magulang. <laughs> Kaya yung mga pinagdadaanan ng ating mga campus director ay eh, hindi biro, no? At uh, talagang it takes a lot of uh, sacrifice to really stay in your post and uh, really uh, perform uh, to the best of your uh, ability. And of course, hindi naman sila magiging successful kung hindi sa tulong ng ating mga uh, teachers. So, palakpakan din natin ang ating mga teachers. Ang muli ko siguro kasabihin, eh, of course, yung ating mga alumni, lalo na yung mga uh, parating uh, sumusuporta sa atin sa lahat ng ating activity, malaki talaga ang role na magagawa ng ating uh, alumni. But uh, the last point I would like to make is that uh, uh, siguro dapat lahat tayo, whether we are uh, DOST officials or uh, uh, PSHS uh, administrators, teachers, and, uh, and uh, employees, teachers, students, alumni, ay huwag natin kalimutan yung uh, mga virtues na ini-inculcate ng Philippine Science High School sa inyo. Ano? Uh, nandyan yung... Uh, excellence, nandyan yung truth at nandyan din yung uh, service. Kaya ako pagka nakakakita ko ng alumni, eh, uh, tinitingnan ko kung uh, ito ba ay eh, uh, tumutupad sa kanyang mga uh, commitment to excellence uh, to truth and uh, service. Ano? Dahil uh, dun, dun makikilala ang, uh, ang graduate ng Philippine Science sa uh, high school. Uh, siguro, uh, maipapaya ko lang ngayon, uh, dahil uh, sabi nila sobrang sobrang hirap maging estudyante ngayon sa Philippine Science High School sobrang dami mong kailangan matutuhan ano? dahil uh, yung napakalaki ng uh, challenge ano? kaya yung mga estudyante natin kumisan baka nawawala na ng oras na uh, mag uh, ano dito? Uh, mga ibang activities ano? uh, siguro naman eh, ina-address na natin yan ngayon Okay, yung, uh, kung ano yung ibang needs ng ating mga estudyante na mahirap naman kasi yung, uh, well, ako, hindi ako dapat na nagsasabi nun, mahirap naman yung puro aral na lang, ano? At uh, <laughs> kailangan naman eh, mag-enjoy din sila habang nag-aaral. At uh, siyempre, yung uh, isa siguro nating uh, gustong uh, masabi dito, yung uh, mga, ako halimbawa, well, actually, kagabi, nandun ako sa uh, isang uh, signing agreement between DOST and the Department of Education. And uh, it was actually an agreement uh, to incorporate or to, to work towards the incorporation of nuclear science and technology in, this, in the senior high school uh, curriculum. You know? uh, so, nagpirmahan doon, actually meron ng uh, three-year experience doon sa mga pilot schools. And uh, Ano ba yung uh, uh, babanggitin ko dito tungkol sa signing ngayon? Ah, nagsalita pala yung uh, ating Philippine Science High School grade 12 student from Palo Leyte. Anyway, nakikinig ako hila rin sa iyong sinabi kagabi. Parang meron ako nadinig na sinabi, 
yun daw mga na sa isip niya o natutuhan niya, 10% lang nakuha niya sa school. Yung iba siya na ang nag-aturo sa sarili niya. Uh, siguro, yun ang isang magandang uh, tingnan din natin kung papaano yung uh, learning process na yung uh, bata na mismo ang naghahanap o uh, yung parang independent uh, learning. Hindi, hindi na siguro pwede ngayon yung puro ikaw na lang ang nagbibigay ng content ano? at uh, 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 mas importante yung independent uh, uh, inquisitiveness and uh, learning. At saka, nandiyan din yung, uh, ano tawag dito? Yung uh, spirit of, ano pa tawag doon? Kasi ang nakikita ko, dahil sa hirap mag-aral sa Philippine Science High School at uh, in the person of excellence, masyado silang nagiging masyadong competitive. No? Okay lang naman yun, pero siguro kailangan din, uh, uh, nakikita ko naman, na matuto sila na yung uh, mga trabaho na nagko-cooperate sila with one another. So, yun lang. Hindi ko naman talaga pwedeng uh, mahusgahan yung uh, paraan ng pagtuturo dahil hindi naman ako nakapag-aaral sa Philippine Science High School. Sabi ko nga doon sa batch na ano, kami nila Dr. Ramirez, eh kami naman eh nagtatanong kung anong batch ba kayo. Eh sabi ni Dr. Ramirez, pre-war pa kami. <laughs> But uh, really, it was an opportunity that uh, we were not able to experience, ano, uh, being, uh, well, having been ahead of your time dahil... Uh, Nung itayo yung Philippine Science High School, ako yung nasa UP na college na ako. Kami ni Heden, mag-eskwela kami. Heden, evangelista, one of your system directors, pinagmamalaki kong ka-eskwela sa college. So, hindi ko ba nabanggit lahat ng dapat kong banggitin, ay pinapaabot ko sa inyo ang, uh, ang commitment naman ng Department of Science and Technology to really uh, continue in our efforts to uh, put the Philippine Science High School system into the apex of uh, not only Philippine secondary education but also perhaps in the whole region in uh, ASEAN. So congratulations sa inyong lahat at maraming salamat. A million thanks DOSD Secretary for the Development.